Morning, Andoni. Morning. Uh, first Premier League press conference, the start of a new season, a new era. How excited are you? Obviously excited. I think it's a new competition for me. We've been working hard during pre-season to get ready for this moment. Uh, first weeks, probably first three weeks until the market ends, will be a little bit strange, the preparation. We are not completely sure about the, the players that we will face even. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to play tomorrow and, and try to, to give our best to, to beat West Ham. You've had a busy 24 hours, two new signings into the football club. First of all, we'll talk about Max Ahrens from Norwich City, very experienced right back for only 23 years old. He won the England Euro Under-21 tournament in the summer. How impressive has he been already and, and what will he bring to the side? Uh, as you said, I think for his age, he has already a good bunch of um, Premier League games. I think he has been playing in this level. Uh, he has international experience. He has been playing this summer with uh, national teams. And I think he, he will help us straight away, even if he's young. Uh, he's not as young as some of the signings we, we, we made. He has the experience and uh, he, he will help us for sure. And Alex Scott, I know injured at the moment, so you haven't had the opportunity to train with him or work with him, but, but a £20 million signing, he was one of the most exciting players in the EFL last season. What will he bring and when can we expect to see him outside on the vitality pitch? Yes, uh, it's a great signing for the club. I think uh, he's a great kid also. Uh, the, the, the first impression when, when we talk to him are, are really nice. Unfortunately, he will be out for, for the start of the season, probably the first couple of months. And uh, he will have to take this, these weeks to settle in, to know more about the team, to know more the teammates and, and to prepare, uh, prepare and help us further in, in the season. But uh, I think it's a player with his age, with the, the season he, he had past season in the championship that uh, can help us a lot. And the big question the fans will be asking now, you've had a really good summer so far, lots of new faces. How many more would you like to bring in and what positions? Uh, probably the area we need to, to reinforce is the midfield. It's something that we've been talking about during the, on the summer and still we have time on the, on the, on the market and uh, that's the area where, where the club is focusing right, right now. Up next, obviously West Ham, your first game in the Premier League up against one of the most experienced Premier League managers in David Moyes. What do you know about his teams, his setup, the players? How much research have you had to do personally to try and understand what they'll do and prepare a Bournemouth side to try and pick up three points? No, obviously David is uh, a very, very good coach. He has been really successful. Past season they, are, they won an European Championship. Uh, he also coached uh, there in, in, in Spain, so I knew him uh, before, but overall uh, they are a really solid team, they are good, uh, they have quite a lot of options, they can go more direct, they have very good wingers, they are really good in set pieces. Uh, I think we have to be really focused, not to make mistakes, because they are the kind of team that if you make one mistake, they they score the first goal and then there's it's it's very difficult to play against against their result. With all the signings you've made so far in this summer and the fact you've inherited the the squad as well, do you know in your own mind right now you're starting eleven for the game or are you still undecided on potentially some of the players? I mostly know the starting eleven. Probably I'm waiting for for the last training. In, 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 in some positions, so the, the feeling I, I have, also I have to talk to, to the players. We have some uh, players that uh, uh, we, we have to make sure they are ready to, to start or probably uh, they can only help us in second half. But uh, in my mind, obviously, I, I, I know what, uh, what I have here. And, and just finally, what can the Bournemouth fans expect Tomorrow, you've, you've mentioned sort of, you know, a, a, you know, a lot of attacking football, exciting uh, styles, you know, organised chaos going forward, you know, all, all those sort of things that you've said over pre-season. Is that going to be the remit for tomorrow? 
I think we have to keep improving the team, same line we did in pre-season. I think we want to be in control of the game. We will try. Obviously, we have an opponent in front that they will try the same, but uh, I would like to to play, play as much as we can in, in, in their half, to attack as much as we can, to to lower the, the number of uh, chances we have to defend. And uh, let's see tomorrow if we are able to do these things. Thank you. Good luck. Hi, Andoni. Can we just clarify who's definitely not going to be available tomorrow? Adam Smith has had an injury. I know it's a, a long list, unfortunately. Yes, it's a long list. Unfortunately, us, it's a long, long list. Who are the headlines who, who definitely won't be available tomorrow? Uh, for sure, uh, the ones that have been injured uh, last games in, in pre-season. Talking about uh, Adam Smith, uh, Lloyd Kelly, Taff, uh, Fredericks, uh, Alex Scott, if you can include him and uh, then we have some cases that uh, we are going to wait until today's training to take the the decision but uh, we have some some players that we, we really we are not sure if we could uh, put them uh, in, in 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 tomorrow's game how challenging has that been for you that when you you came into the job you knew the squad you had and, and some additions and the longer preseason has gone on you've had to keep moving your plans around and now you're having to, in English, we say, put some square pegs in round holes, maybe. How difficult has that been for you when you have a master plan and you have to keep changing it? Yes, obviously, when, when injuries appear, the coaches, uh, we have to adapt things, we have to change things, we, we have to try uh, players in different positions. I think we did the other, the other day against Lorient, we put Jadon as right back, I think. He did pretty well. He played pretty well. We we played with Marcos as number six for some minutes. Uh, we've been doing this in, during the pre-season to to it's the moment where we can try different things. And especially uh, these these three first games will be a little bit like this because uh, players coming and going and new signings arriving, some injuries happening, and it's a moment where we have to uh, we have to perform well and we have to adapt quickly to these different situations. I think the general mood of the fan base is very excited for what you and the players are going to bring to the season. Do you also urge a little bit of patience at the moment because of all the things you've just spoken about? Uh, we'll try to perform from, from day one. Uh, obviously, uh, there is job to do, uh, but uh, there is job to do for all the teams. You know, it's not probably the perfect picture tomorrow because of the uh, we have time uh, we have injuries, uh, we, we will have other players arriving uh, also, but it will be the same for West Ham, it will be the same for even the big clubs, because uh, still the, the market is open and changes will will happen. What Do you feel the expectation level rises with every new signing? It always happens in all the clubs, uh, in all, and it's, it's a good thing, I think. I think it's good that uh, people want to see the team, uh, we hope we can give them a good game tomorrow. Uh, we hope to get a, a good result, uh, but I, I want to to go in the way that we've been working last weeks and uh, and that's what, what uh, we are going to try tomorrow. West Ham, obviously, without Declan Rice, how different a proposition do you expect them to be without him? Although they may be are making signings as we speak now, but yes. West Ham without Rice, how different a team? They signed a very, very good player in his position, coming from Ajax, Alvarez. I think he's a player that uh, he's, uh, gives them uh, a good, uh, solid player and it adapts very well to, to their way of play. Also, probably they will they, they will have other signings for t tomorrow, most probably. But overall, the idea is it has been the same. No, I think it's a very tough team, set pieces, Transitions very good. They have uh, wingers. They have different options up front with their number nine, and we have to take care about uh, mistakes we make in the in the build up because they go especially with Bowen with Benrama. I don't know who who will play, but players that in two seconds you make the mistakes and 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 they are they are almost there. Set pieces will be huge for us, uh, defensive and offensive. I think we've been working this week uh, to to prevent these things knowing that they are a really powerful team they have very good stats from past season 
And if they sign War Prowse, I don't know if they're gonna sign him official, not official, but it's another step in in that uh, uh, direction. So we have to be really, really focused on these details. Final one from me. I wanted to ask about you personally because your family, you have young children, friends back in Spain. How much are they excited about watching the Premier League, watching you? Have they set up their TVs and got everything ready? Will any of them be here? Yes, I think they've done all their homework. They are trying to 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 set up the who is the one who is the, with the rights in Spain to to watch all the games and uh, I try to keep them out of the football side. Uh, also, I'm I'm I think I'm lucky because my wife doesn't doesn't watch even our games. She knows that if we win, we will lose, but she's not very into in the in the football side. And I think it's it's better like this.